Hi, I'm Mark Rothman, Progress Coach. I help my clients achieve their goals and live fuller, more three-dimensional lives. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like and go ahead and leave a comment. I want to be in touch. And let's get right into understanding unlovable. Many of us journey off into a dark place called the land of the unwanted, unloved, and alone. Join me in singing its national anthem. Nobody loves me, everybody hates me, I'm going to eat some worms and die. If you're laughing right now, you're laughing what I call the laugh the busted. Your laughter admits that you've visited this land and you've sung this anthem at some time or another. We've all felt unwanted, unloved, and alone. In this state, we're not just unwanted, a condition of the present tense, we are unwantable. No one could ever want us in the future either. No one could ever love us. No one could ever be with us, accompany us, or care for us. Any number of incidents or forces make us feel unloved and unlovable. A big external event, such as a job loss or the end of a relationship, can make us feel this way. Our internal narrative can also take us there. We all have a seemingly infinite number of internal tapes in our heads to make us feel unloved and unlovable which we often play with little provocation at all. The car next to us at a stoplight, the size of someone's house, the projections we place on a complete stranger simply by the way she walks down the street can all send us through a wormhole to the land of the unloved, unlovable, and alone. Cue the anthem, nobody loves me, everybody hates me. We can find innumerable reasons why we do this to ourselves. We may send ourselves on these downward journeys to avoid taking responsibility for our lives. Sometimes, ironically, we entertain these negative stories because they feel as if we are taking full responsibility. We find opportunities to blame ourselves exclusively for a bad outcome. But really, we only play our self-blame victimhood tapes at full volume, and we find some sad satisfaction in our self-pity we may find it strangely comforting. Changing our perspectives and attitudes may scare us more than experiencing the pain we feel when we consider ourselves unloved and unlovable. If somebody pulls up next to us in a nicer car at a stoplight, it may be easier to feel bad about ourselves than to think about the changes we would need to make if we wanted to buy that car for ourselves. The truth is we may not even want that kind of car. We may actually feel fine about the car we have. We may use the car as a shorthand for our projection of the life Mr. Fancy Car has that makes us feel unloved and unlovable. The fantasy we build around what we see and covet in another person distracts us from taking a true assessment of our lives. This distraction blocks us from owning the life we have. It makes us devalue ourselves in an instant based on some external symbol, some projection we make onto another person, all based on a whole bunch of stories we make up in our heads. When we feel unloved and unlovable, we can choose to spend as much time in that place as we want. We don't need a passport to get there and lodging costs only the pain of feeling sorry for ourselves. But we can also use those feelings to remind us of the power we have over our own lives and to find the meaning and strength in who we are, what we have, and what we can do. We can embrace those things about us that are, in fact, powerfully lovable and return to a place of self-worth and abundance. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please go ahead and do so. Go ahead and hit like and definitely leave a comment. I want to be in touch and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like if you liked the video. Definitely leave a comment. I really like replying and knowing what you think. And then you can find a link below to my website, markcoach.net. On Instagram, I'm Mark Progress Coach, and Facebook is Mark Rothman Progress Coach. And I'll see you in the next video.